Well, everybody told me conference was going to change my life, and I've been in direct sales, I've been in multi-level marketing before, and I heard that same thing all over again. So to me, it was extra money um, that I did not have that I just couldn't see letting go of to go to kind of a, just a big rally, a big party to get excitement when I was like, I'm already excited because I know this thing works, and it's the only thing out there like that. Went to conference. I cried the whole time and screamed. I lost my voice. I was talking on the phone to my fiance. He's like, have you, are, are you okay? Are you fighting somebody or something? I'm like, I'm like, no, I just lost my voice. He's like, why are you yelling? I'm like, because this is so amazing. This is changing lives. And I'm going to get teared up again, but there's so many things from conference that really just hit home with me. The one, well, two important things. I've never been in a, a business or a company, and I've been in business my whole life, where every single person that got up on that stage, from the person who's just starting to see some profit, to the person all the way at the top, our CEO, Mark, everybody was telling that this company is really it, and it's, it's for God's glory. And they are praying people, and they're using this to reach out and touch other people's lives. I don't care what faith you are. There is no way to succeed in this business unless you're helping others. And like, like they just said, run with your runners. You'll have them. I'm blessed to have them. And I've only been in this business since November. We've built our team to almost 25 people in that short of a time in a tiny little Jamestown, Tennessee, where there is no one. There's like 10,000 people. And everybody had told me before, stay away from there. You'll never have success there. You'll never do anything. I saw the need. And I said, these people don't just need the rap. They need the income. The other thing from conference that really touched me was hearing everybody up there and where they came from. These aren't college-educated, Harvard graduates, business people that know what they're doing. This is you and me. This is people like you and me seeing six-figure incomes within 10 months. How can you not share that? How can you not hand a Blitz card to somebody at McDonald's and say, look, this is what it is, this is what it does. By the way, our company is offering a $10,000 bonus. It may not be for you, but you know someone that needs it. Please pass my name on. I have made it a promise to myself, and I have told my entire team, you don't have the right to make that decision for somebody else. Do not prejudge. If you do not hand them that card, who will? Who is going to give them that opportunity? This is so new, and this company is so just building in this area that if, if we're not the one to tell them, who's going to? We have to do it. We have that obligation because we have gold in our pockets. We have gold, and we've got a company reaching out and handing us freedom freedom for free you mean your kit cost 99 bucks you made that back at your launch party or beforehand if you just got to wrap people you have to you have to tell people and Nathan Dempsey said never give up don't give up if you don't give up you can't fail I don't care how long you're waiting around and if you're if you're consistent and you're keeping it simple and you're talking to everybody you're gonna you're gonna go to the top there's no stopping and it was it was just the power and the energy of everyone at conference. I came back on fire and I've not stopped running uh, since, since we got back on like Monday morning. I've been going nonstop, I can't believe it's Saturday. And this is so awesome that we're all meeting here for all you guys that couldn't come because you're gonna feel the energy from us. It's incredible. And once you catch on to it, don't let it go and run with it. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Rachel. Woo. Conference was such a blessing these two people if you don't know them know them get to know them because they have completely blessed my life um tina and bubba i don't actually know you on a personal basis but your story was so touching to me um malika amo she's in up north east coast she's not in our exact tree but has done calls for us since we've gotten to know her and everybody in this company wants to help somebody else and that's what i love it's that's what God wants for us is to help other people. You cannot grow in this business unless you have a strong foundation below you. My girls that are here today, I talk with them at least once a day and I'm like, okay, what can I do to help you? I just signed two girls on this week and I didn't even keep them for myself. I gave them to them because I can't grow unless I help them. It's all about servanthood and servantship and my aha moment was just like where people have come from. I mean, having everything and losing everything and now look at you guys building your dream home Malika had 
a huge 5,600 square foot house. Her husband made six figures a year and was laid off. Came home on a Tuesday and said, my last day is Friday. So in three days, they lost everything. She went from welfare to wealth in 10 months. It's incredible to know that that's my story. I mean, we're not quite that low, but we're pretty close. Um, if this wasn't for this company, I wouldn't have had Christmas for my kids. So um, literally no stockings. So I just thank you guys so much for introducing this to me and just being such a blessing because it's changing my life and it will change yours. Just believe in it. So. Certainly our first time they're in front of people, but uh, we didn't have a speech that was planned. But anyway, do you want to say something? Well, it's kind of a repeat, but I think when I walked into conference, it was just so overwhelming. It was just the power and energy was just the, of the room. I mean, I can't even I can't even explain it. It was just amazing. But I think my uh, my aha moment was um, a comp working for being with a company and involved with a company that starts out with praise and worship. And to me, it was it was just, thank you, Lord. I just, I'm sorry, sweetie. <laughs> it was just. I, I think I need some praise and worship right now. <laughs> <laughs> I lay hands on my sweetie. Um, no, but, but um, knowing that, that, um, Cindy prays over this company every day, and and to me that just I think that really is I don't know what to say, but that's my aha moment. And I know since I got back from conference, I've booked I work a full time job and I've booked three parties and I'm rapping all over and I've got so many people contacting me that I'm overwhelmed. I'm very and proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, love y'all. So well, well, we've both been in healthcare 20, 30 years, roughly a piece, and uh, and as you all know, corporate America is drastically changing, and and we are looking forward to doing this full time here in the next year. All right. Hey there. Oh, was really short. <laughs> um, I guess my aha moment was. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've actually been with the company since 2008. This is actually my fifth conference that I've went to. The first one I went to, I think there was 150 people there. We had not many people there, so we had tables and everything. Um, just being able to see so many people and with so many of their lives being touched this year was so like, I don't know, it was just so beautiful to see that so many different lives are being changed with this and, and my life is changing with it. And my aha moment this year was I actually had six distributors on my team with me this year and I haven't had that before. And being able to see the energy that these girls have come home with and just hit the ground running has just been such a blessing to me. And it lets me know that I am in the right business at the right time and we're all going to make it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm usually the one that cries all the time about everything, but I'll just, um, I don't even know if there was one aha moment for me uh, this last weekend, but I think that was my third conference. Um, and I think just looking, like Melody said, at all the people, 6,000 people, and last year was only 1,800, it just really opened my eyes that, you know what, we've, it's untapped for one thing, but there's so many lives that do need this business to be changed and uh, health-wise, financially, you know, we, we've hung on and, and we haven't been the fastest ones uh, to grow in this business, but if you hang on and you're consistent, as Blair said, and steady, you know, you're gonna get there, you will, um, but you do have to talk to every single person that crosses your path just you know uh be in tune with with your heart if you feel like you need to talk to somebody or give them a card do it because you know what next year it's going to be what probably double triple whatever quadruple and guess what if you don't talk to those people somebody else is going to so do you want them to be on your team or do you want them to be on somebody else's team when we come back here next year after conference this room will you wouldn't even be able to get in here um how many of those people do you want to be on your team so just have a sense of urgency, get out there, be excited about, you know, helping other people change their lives and um, your, your life's gonna be changed. It really will. And I know it just sounds kind of, I don't know, um, 
corny or whatnot or like, but it's really, really true. Just open up the doors. People are waiting for you to talk to them. Well, my aha moment was getting there and seeing all these people in one giant big place last year. We only had about 2,000 people there last year. And you go in, you've got the whole conference arena. They've got on the steps. They've got it, the Mission Impossible out there. Uh, it was just uplifting, making you think, okay, it's time to go home and go to work. If you've kind of been just kind of kind of treading along and need somebody poke you. I brought my husband today. He's my poker. He's going to poke me and, and trod me along in this business to make me even grow larger than I already am. And these two people right here is where it all came about from Blair Mill. And they are so gracious. They There were people there that were not able to come because of to the luncheon that they prepared for us. And um, they were so gracious to allow some of us to come. And that felt like that we had not accomplished what we needed to accomplish to get there, but they were gracious enough to invite us there. So that was really my aha moment, that they were gracious enough to let us come in. Thank you. My aha moment was just getting there, um, <laughs> just to be there. I, I really had hesitation to go because there's been a lot of things going on in my life you know, transitioning out of one business into another, and I thought, I just can't do it. I just can't go. I've got so much to do. And my husband said, you've got to go. You know, go. What, are you, what else? You're just going to be here. And I'm so glad that I did. You know, the one thing that I got out of it is just stay consistent. Stay with it. Don't give up. You know, there are frustrations. You have some people that you'll meet that want to get in it, and then they drop out. You're going to have that, but then you'll have one, you'll have a Kathy Andrews, or you'll have a Stephanie Clyburn, you know, or a Gail Brock, or a Mary H Wilhoyt. I mean, there are people out there that want to do this business with us, and want to, and it's going to help them so much, and I think that's the big thing for me, is it's, it saved our home, this la our office this last year. My husband's had medical problems, and and without this business, we wouldn't, I mean, we couldn't have done it. We really could not have done it. God put it in my life at the perfect time and at the perfect place. And um, I'm a retread. <laughs> I got in and got out. And then I guess four, five, four years ago, I got back in. And I'm so happy that I did. But you will never, ever regret it. You will never regret it. It's an awesome company. Mark Pentecost, Cindy, know me by my name. Wally knows me by my name. You know, it amazed me. Mark came up and took my picture with him and Cindy. You know, it was great. I mean, that's how personable they are. That's, that it is a one-on-one -on -one company. It's not just a big corporation and you're a number. You are a true person to them and important to them, too. So that's my aha. Uh -huh. right, thank you. <laughs>